What's going on you guys, this is MXKD, I have another Dell Optiplex 5040, it's small foam factor, this is disassembled teardown. So first off, you're going to make sure you wear the latex gloves, and you will need a flathead screwdriver and a Phillips screwdriver. So remove the side cover panel right here, you're going to, there's a little switch right here, like click on a, you press it down with your finger to release the side cover panel, we're going to slide it to the left side. And... We're gonna go ahead and start off. Let's see. We're gonna remove the front cover bezel right here. It's got little eclipses right here. You put with your finger, press it up really gently to remove the front cover bezel like this. And this is the Dell Optiplex 5040 small foam factor. So we got that removed. Now you're gonna disconnect the SATA and power. And this little right here, you press on the middle right here with your finger to release the lock to remove the hard drive caddy plastic. And disconnect the hard drive. Now, we're gonna go ahead and uh, remove the, the hard drive. Looks like it's a cage here. It's connected to the optical drive. So we'll click with this little clip right here. You press it to the left with your finger to on secure lock right means it's locked left means unlocked so so get that removed disconnect the optical drive SATA power and optical drive right here it's got a little clip right here secure clip to release the optical drive you see right here you press on it gently to release it now disconnect the memory Now we're going to go ahead and uh, remove the fence shroud here. To do that is a little, just lose your finger right here, like this, one on the bottom, one on the top, like this, to release it. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and uh, use a flathead screwdriver and disconnect right here. This is for the, looks like it's the hard drive cage, a secure lock clip right here, a little bolt. You could use a flathead screwdriver to, to remove it. Okay. Now disconnect the SATA cable. Now go ahead and, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, remove, let's see. Uh, let's go ahead and move the power supply. So what we're gonna do is there'll be three screws in the back. Use a Phillips screwdriver. And there'll be three screws in the back. So you use three screws to remove the power supply. Now uh, this is right here, the fork uh, pin right there, disconnect from the power. It's in the corner right here. And there's an A pin right here, get that disconnected. And disconnect the four pin for the, this is for the fan, front fan. Get that disconnected. And uh, what we're going to do is remove the fan. And it looks like it's a rubber feet, can you see it's moving, so it comes right out really easy. And here's the fan, actually it's 80 millimeter, and it's a 4 pin, 4 wire. Okay, so now we're going to disconnect the power supply, and to do that, there's a clip right here, we we'll use a flathead screwdriver, you press it down gently to release the lock. Just like this. To release the power supply. And here's the power supply. So we got disconnected, the power supply removed. Now, 
I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the VGA cable that's connected the wire to the motherboard and just use a Phillips screwdriver. Like that. Now Make sure everything's disconnected. There's a four uh, right here through the power switch right here, and then the power right there. It's in the corner. Get that disconnected right here, and make sure everything. Before we move the motherboard, we have to make sure everything's disconnected. And there's one right here in the middle in the corner right there. Get that disconnected. Looks like it's a hood sensor. Uh, we got that disconnected now. And let's go ahead and uh, remove the heat sink and fan right here. It's got four, uh, two screws in the top, two, two in the bottom. And there's gonna be a, uh, you gotta disconnect the four pin wire that's for the fan, CPU fan cooler right here. You got that disconnect, it's gonna be right there in the bottom. So we got that disconnected right here. It's a four wire. And remove the heatsink. Heatsink fan coolers for the processor. So we got that removed. Now we're gonna go ahead and disconnect uh remove the processor. And to do that, there's a little clip right here. You press on your finger gently and to the right. And you move the processor. Now, I'm going to go ahead and uh, Remove the we're gonna remove the motherboard to do that. There's gonna be one, two, three, four, five. It looks like a five screws total. So we're gonna start up the bottom right here. So now go ahead and uh, remove the PCI brackets right here, the low profile PCI brackets. Get them removed. Okay. Now make sure everything's disconnected. And if you want to remove the battery right here, just use a flathead screwdriver. And there's a little clip right there in the middle right there. And it comes right out, the battery. And let's go ahead and remove the motherboard. So make sure everything's disconnected. And the other, we're gonna go go right through the front, right here. There's another screw we have to remove. It's for the front panel here. You see right there. To remove the motherboard, you have to remove the bracket right here for the for the USB. And then it's gonna have one screw right here. Just one right there to remove. Really easy. So. So, move the bracket, and you can remove the motherboard now.
So here's the motherboard. And here's the back side. And uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, and the last part is internal speaker. It looks like right there. Uh, just see right here, just press on the finger, we have a little clip right here, it's got a little bottom to top right there, like this. Finger and comes right out. Internal speaker. So guys, that's about it. This will be the end of the video, guys. This is the tear down disassembly for the Dell Optiplex 5040. Small phone factor. Thanks for watching. Bye.